Okay guys, what I'm going to do now is one of my solar panels has turned up so I'm going to go ahead and fit that on the roof. It's a 300 watt solar panel so it's quite big so I'm going to stick that up and I've also got another two solar panels coming in that are 100 watt each so when they've turned up I should put them up as well. So I'm just going to go ahead now and start fitting that. Okay guys, there's the first solar panel up and that's the 300 watt solar panel. So I'm just waiting for the other two panels to turn up. I've put the brackets in place ready, so I know what their measurements are for them. So as soon as they turn up, and hopefully today, I'll get them up as well. So in total, that will give me 500 watts of solar. So let's just hope that turns up today. Hi guys, so I've had a few deliveries. One has been the awning, to go on the side of the van. Uh, I've also had the fridge delivered, a couple more solar panels are turned up, so let me just go ahead and show you what I've got delivered. So as you can see, my van is getting full up with parts. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to have a look at fitting the awning today, so I can get that out of here because that's taking up quite a bit of room in the van as you can see. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and have a look at fitting that. But before I fit that, I've got to suss out how I'm going to do it. Whether I'm going to put some brackets up on the roof or just bolt it to the side of the van. So I'll catch you up with you in a sec once I've decided what I'm going to do. Right guys, so I've put the awning up now. So let me just go ahead and show you that. So the awning we got is a Fiamma 350 and it's a F45S I think, something like that. Um, let me just go up on the roof and show you how I've mounted that. So guys, as you can see from the roof here, I've got my solar panels up. I've got one there, which is the 300 watt, and then I've got two little ones that are 100 watt. So as for the... Uh, awning what I've done is I'll just zoom in on one of these brackets there we go what I did was I made some brackets out of some U strut so all I've got to do on them now is give them a lick of paint and uh, that'll be them all secured down it's absolutely solid it will not move so what I'm going to do now guys is we got a privacy tent that goes on the awning so I'm just going to go ahead and fit that because there's a bit of screwing that I have to do. So once I've done that, I'll show you what that's like. Okay guys, so that's the privacy room put up for the awning. So let me go ahead and give you a show on that. Here we go. That's what it looks like on the inside. There. So let me just take you on the outside and show you it. we go guys obviously I haven't pegged it down yet because this is just for testing but it went up quite easy once I sussed it out so there you go
back from paint now and there it is all finished see with the awning on there we've got some matte black on there and it's all done in white i've just got to do a few uh little bits and pieces on it but that's it uh the white paint and that i used and the matte black was uh, all raptor paint so that's it all done there I'll just show you the back of it there you go i'll show you the other side Here's the other side guys, all done, got my decals on um, and like I said it's all painted in Raptor paint so I'll just go ahead and show you the front. There we go guys, that's the front of the van as well. Like I say, all the black and the white is all done in Raptor paint. Um, today on the van build what we're going to be doing is fitting these deadlocks to the doors so I'm just going to go ahead and do them and then I'll show you what they look like after. There you go guys, there's the security locks on on this side, on the passenger door and the sliding door. So I've just got the driver's door to do and the back door. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now, then I'll catch up with you once it's done and give you a look at that. Okay guys, so that's all the uh, deadlocks fit to the doors now. So let me go ahead and show you them. So that's the one for the passenger side door and the sliding door one. Yeah. Um, I've also got the one fitted on the back doors. is there and I've also got one fitted on the driver's door which is there so that's now all the deadlocks done on the van right guys now that we've uh, finished painting the van and done the decals on it um, I've also done the uh, security locks on all the doors what I'm going to be doing now is sending a, a form off to DVLA to see if we can get the van registered as a camper van now I have heard some of some people having trouble with this and it's only coming back as a, a van with windows. So I've downloaded the form um, from DVLA. So the form that you need to download is a V1006. It's a camper van checklist that you have to fill in and send off with some photos. Now the photos that it's asking for is photos of seats and tables sleeping accommodation, cooking facilities, storage area and two or more windows on the side of the main body of the van. Um, it's also asking for any decors to be put on the van so you can recognise the van as a camper van. So the decor side of things on the van I think is a bit strange. Um, because if you can't identify the van as being a camper van without decals, I find that really weird. So that's it for this one guys. So on the next video, what I'm going to be doing is going to be fitting the Chinese diesel heater into the van. So come along and join me on that one and I'll see you next time. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That will really help my little channel out. Thanks very much. See you next time. Bye. Smile upon my face, cause there's excitement.
Till I run towards the wind and let the challenge draw me in, cause I want more.